Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, it's Rob from designeruser.blogspot.com with a really quick look at a very simple but incredibly useful app called Dropbox, which you'll find in the Android marketplace. Dropbox, D R O P B O X. And basically, once you've installed Dropbox, um, what you can do with it is it's <laughs> what it creates is a shared folder. Okay, that where you can share files between your mobile device, i.e. your Android phone, and your desktop, your laptop, any other device at all. Because that shared folder, the stuff in it, isn't, sh isn't saved here on your phone or even saved on your laptop. It's saved in the cloud, on the internet, in a server somewhere. Um, um, so it's a bit difficult to describe, but let's say I've taken some photos on my phone. Okay, what you can actually see here, this is my Dropbox, and it's got all my sort of stuff on it. So if I was to fire up um, Dropbox on my desktop PC, I would see this stuff in the folder. And on your desktop PC, it just appears just like any other folder, and you can drop stuff into it. You can open it up and, and do all that, all that sort of stuff. But let's say I wanted so the, uh, sort of a practical application is where I've taken a photograph on. On my on my phone, and I want to transfer it to my desktop PC easily. But let's say I'm out in the field somewhere. I'm away from home. Um, I could, obviously, I could email it to myself. I could do all that sort of stuff. But Dropbox makes it incredibly easy just to drop it in the Dropbox folder, and then it will just magically appear in the folder on your on your on your computer. So all I have to do is I go Menu, Upload, and it'll say What kind of media would you like to import? Um, Let's say I want to import a picture, and it says select or take a picture. So let's have a look in my photos. So what have we got? Camera shots. Let's have a look in here. Let's just scroll through to some I took this afternoon when we went strawberry picking. So let's say that particular picture there. And that <laughs> that photo is now being uploaded to. Um, oh, I tell you what, I better turn the internet on. <laughs> that that photo is now being uploaded to um, to my Dropbox. It's just come up with error because what I've actually done is I've turned off the internet on my phone, so it couldn't upload it. So there we go. So how easy is that? Or similarly, I could just drop drop a text file or a photo or a PDF into the the, 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 the box on my um, the folder on my computer and then it would appear in here um, it's a bit <laughs> until you actually have a go with it it's a bit like ho hum you think well what, what what could I use it for but you can use it for all sorts of stuff it's just like having it's just a shared folder where all the stuff you, you can do on your phone you can drop it into and then it'll magically appear on your desktop or on your laptop PC. So there we go, Dropbox for the uh, HTC Android phone. Here it's, uh, I'm showing it to you on my uh, HTC Desire. Find it in the Android Marketplace and give it a go. It's free. You get, I think you get two gigabytes storage for the free account, but then you can upload it. You know, you can put lots and lots more stuff onto it. So for example, say you want to transfer video quickly, you could you could drop video into it and all that sort of stuff. Um, okay, that's Rob from DesireUser.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.